The European Union has recently implemented a new set of regulations aimed at streamlining cross-border asset seizures. These regulations, known as the Mutual Recognition of Freezing and Confiscation Orders, are designed to improve international cooperation in the fight against serious crime by allowing member states to ask fellow nations to freeze or confiscate criminally derived property. The new regulations are similar to the American system of civil asset forfeiture, but with some key differences. Kindly subscribe to this news channel for daily updates on trending global and economic issues like and share this news item. Under the new EU regulations, law enforcement officials can seize assets suspected of being linked to criminal activity without requiring an underlying criminal conviction. This is in contrast to the US system, where law enforcement officials must have probable cause to believe that the property has been involved in or derived from a criminal offense before seizing it. The EU regulations also contain safeguards to protect individuals against abuses, including the greater use of disinterested judicial officers. The new regulations are aimed at improving international cooperation to close loopholes that allow wrongdoers to hide assets. According to a report published by Europol's Asset Recovery Unit, 98.9% .9 of criminal profits are not confiscated by authorities and remain in criminal hands. The new regulations seek to improve upon these seizure statistics by creating a single internationally recognized instrument for freezing and confiscation orders. This instrument, issued by the competent authority of one EU member state, will be recognized and executed in other states as if it were a domestic order. The regulations also provide for compensation and restitution to victims of crime. In cases where the issuing state confiscates property, the victim's right to compensation and restitution has priority over the executing and issuing state's interest. The money generated by increased seizures is also intended to increase national treasury and EU incomes and to be reused for public purposes. The new regulations have been welcomed by many as a step forward in the fight against serious crime. However, some have raised concerns about the potential for abuse and the lack of safeguards for property owners. Critics argue that the EU regulations are too similar to the US system of civil asset forfeiture, which has been criticized for incentivizing abuse and offering inadequate safeguards for property owners. Despite these concerns, the new regulations are set to go into effect two years after they are published in the EU's official journal. Businesses with assets in the EU should be prepared to respond if they face a seizure order. When such orders begin to appear, banks and other entities that hold assets should train their employees on how to process such orders. Designating a point person to respond to law enforcement and customers. In the broader perspective, there is growing concern that the EU border seizure regime may be an excessively strong weapon which rights holders are not adequately prepared to handle. The EU customs regulation is the most cost-efficient and strongest tool to fight counterfeiting, given the investigative powers of customs authorities throughout the European Union. However, the extent of the problem is significant, with the presence of fake goods in the marketplace causing the EU economy to lose over 83 billion euros and 790,000 jobs every year, as well as 14.3 billion euros in government revenue. To combat this black market, EU customs authorities carry out around 60,000 detentions and detain more than 30 million infringing goods every year. The most commonly detained goods are foodstuffs, toys, cigarettes, and clothing. Products for daily use, such as medicines, household goods, or body care articles, are also increasingly being detained. The leading country of provenance of detained counterfeit goods remains China, with 73% of the total, followed by Vietnam, Turkey, India, and the Republic of Moldova. In conclusion, the EU's new regulations on cross-border asset seizures are a significant step forward in the fight against serious crime. While there are concerns about the potential for abuse and the lack of safeguards for property owners, the regulations are designed to improve international cooperation and provide compensation and restitution to victims of crime. As the regulations go into effect, businesses with assets in the EU should be prepared to respond to seizure orders and take steps to protect their assets.
The EU's efforts to combat counterfeiting are also a significant step forward in the fight against serious crime. The EU customs regulation is a powerful tool in the fight against counterfeiting, and the extent of the problem is significant. However, the EU's efforts to combat counterfeiting are not without controversy, with some arguing that the EU border seizure regime is an excessively strong weapon which rights holders are not adequately prepared to handle. Despite these concerns, the EU's efforts to combat counterfeiting are a significant step forward in the fight against serious crime. The EU's new regulations on cross-border asset seizures and its efforts to combat counterfeiting are significant steps forward in the fight against serious crime. While there are concerns about the potential for abuse and the lack of safeguards for property owners, the regulations are designed to improve international cooperation and provide compensation and restitution to victims of crime. As the regulations go into effect, businesses with assets in the EU should be prepared to respond to seizure orders and take steps to protect their assets. Thanks for tuning in today. If you found this video interesting and want to stay updated on more such news, don't forget to hit that follow button and subscribe. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.